Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel AZ Education Adda. In this lecture, we will discuss one important problem of mathematics from the topic functions. So before starting the discussion, I would like to tell you if you want to get more important problems of mathematics, you can visit our website education-adda.com. Link of this website is also available in the description box of the video. So how you can get all these questions, you need to visit our website education addacom then go to menu option and select academic shadda. Under academic shadda, you need to select math important questions. Okay friends, so coming to the given problem, what is given here? Two functions are given for each part fx and dx. Okay, so one pair of function is given and we have to find composite function f of dx and another g of fx okay then we have to determine whether f and g are inverse of each other or not okay so two parts are there we will discuss one by one see in the first part it is given fx equal to 1 by 2x so x will not be equal to 0 as it is in the denominator and gx is equal to 1 by 2x here also x is not equal to 0 okay therefore we can write f of gx it will be equal to f of 1 by 2x after substituting gx as 1 by 2x okay so now we need to substitute gx in place of x in the function fx right Therefore, f of gx, it will be equal to 1 divided by 2 into 1 by 2x, that is 2gx, okay? So, we will get f of gx equal to 2x by 2 and after that, we will get f of gx equal to x. Similarly, we can calculate g of fx. So, here fx is 1 by 2x again, so it will be equal to g of 1 by 2x and then we need to substitute fx in place of x in the function gx so we will get g of fx equal to 1 divided by 2 into 1 by 2 1 by 2x okay so it can be simplified and we will get g of fx equal to x now we have f of gx equal to g of fx as x okay and we know that two functions fx and gx are inverse of each other if f of gx is equal to g of fx equal to x and here we have f of gx equal to x and g of fx equal to x and since both are equal and is equal to x hence we can say that f and g are inverse of each other okay friends so coming back to the next part in this part fx is given as x minus 6 and gx is given as x minus 6 therefore f of gx it is equal to f of x minus 6 okay by replacing gx as x minus 6 okay now we need to substitute gx in place of x in the function fx so we will get f of gx equal to gx minus 6 that is x minus 6 minus 6 okay so we will get f of gx as x minus 12 now we need to find g of fx okay so g of fx again it can be calculated in the same way and we will get g of fx as x minus 12 okay so now if we see here two functions fx and gx will be inverse of each other if f of gx will be equal to g of fx and both will be equal to x but if we see here we have f of gx as x minus 6 and g of fx equal to x minus 6 both are equal but it both are not equal to x and we know that if both will be equal to x then only we will have f and g as inverse of each other okay Hence, we can say that f and g are not inverse of each other as f of gx equal to f g of fx is not equal to x. Okay, friends. So, in this lecture, we have discussed one important problem of mathematics. Okay. Thank you.